I'm here to give you a quick tutorial on how to create animations using the Bongo 2 plugin for Rhino. Your first step is going to be to download the official plugin from the Rhino 3D website and make sure and sign up for that evaluation which will last you 30 days and save you nearly $500. Now, once installed, go ahead and open up your Rhino and select the Bongo panel at the top, then enable the timeline. This is where we're going to be doing the majority of our work while creating animations within the software. Modern animation is often rendered at 24 frames a second. Therefore, the default 100 frames it gives us to work with often feels too short. I like to raise mine to 250, so I have approximately 10 seconds of animation to work with. Now we're ready to start animating. Our first step is going to be to select the object we want to move. In this case, I would like this drawer to slide out from its cabinet. My object selected, I will then choose the Animate button. And now every motion I make of that object or even with the camera will be recorded. We are at frame zero right now. And if I want this drawer to open over the course of two seconds, I will move forward approximately 50 frames. And because it's a position change, the drawer is sliding, I make sure and have position mode selected down here in the bottom left. Many of you might be using rotation mode as well. Scale mode, however, is a little bit more rare. All right, our object selected, we're on the 50th frame. Let's choose the endpoint for our animation. Along the Y axis, let's move 45 forward. And there we go. And you'll notice it created a small red marker here on my timeline, and that is called a keyframe. Now, if we move our slider along the timeline, we can see the distance between our two keyframes has been animated for us. Next. An important note about all animation is that the further these are pulled apart, the slower the animation will move. So let's take this a step further. Instead of just having the drawer open by itself, what if this small gear on the left was able to turn and push that drawer open? Let's see how we can make that happen. Again, select that gear. We've started at the zero frame, but I want it to be animated the same length of time that the drawer is animated, so 50 frames. And again, we are choosing the end state now of this animation, which is going to be, a, get this, rotation mode this time. Make sure and change that. And I believe this is along the x-axis. Let's do 90 degrees. Perfect. All changes are done. Let's select the Animate button, deselect, and let's see how this turned out. Look at that. Exactly what we wanted. Perfect. All right, the final step to know is going to be up here with Bongo. Go down to Render Animation. Unless you're screen capturing it and recording it straight from the software, this is going to be how you'll download and access this animation. And here, you can choose the frames per second, like we talked about. I prefer to go with the 25. You can even choose specific frames you want to render, how they're rendered, and the quality of the video. This is a very powerful software, and I encourage you to explore this more, as this is just the tip of the iceberg. And I'm happy to answer any more questions if anybody has any. Thank you so much. Have a great day.